Back again, back again, more live streaming and more painting because it's my holiday. That's right, it's my holiday <clears throat> and that's what I like to do. Um, I've picked another fairly simple miniature today. I don't think I've gone out, <laughs> outside the parameters of my skill level at this current time. Um, so what I've done is I've selected the Iron Golem. Again, lots of sort of one, you know, essentially it looks like one base colour, but there's actually some layering going on. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I guess I'm going to give you a rundown of what I'm doing before I start. But um, I'm just waiting for the ads, because apparently I'm watching the ads as well. Um, and I've got a poll, so I'll run a poll as well. Uh, and I want to make sure my sound is working, so I'm going to press the button. Uh, and run the poll as soon as I know it's working. And it looks like the poll is working. Okay. Okay, let's put the pole up. Uh, so yeah, get comfortable, grab your paints and your miniatures and or whatever you're doing, whether you're eating, drinking, reading a book, or whatever. And we'll, uh, we're gonna paint a miniature. That's that's the whole point of today. All right, let's get rid of the earplugs and we'll go into this, shall we? And I'll show you, and I'll kind of explain to you um, some of the problems I had with this little sucker because I did have some problems as I just discovered. Anyway. Hi, welcome to How to d d My name is Fred Weller and today I am going to paint a miniature. That's right, I am going to paint an Iron Golem. Um, I will obviously, I'm quite happy to talk about the Iron Golem, if I can remember anything about it, which you'd think I would, but uh, I've used enough of them and I've had to fight enough of them. So yeah, absolutely we'll do something like that. Guess what? I, <laughs> I have to say... This was a miniature that kind of surprised me with regard to the the amount of effort required to actually clean it up. For those of you who are unaware, this miniature is kind of like a pain in the butt to clean up. I did not expect so much flashing. Hello Jasper, and I believe there was somebody else, um, as it was Tegra, it was somebody's Tegra. You have to put your, type your name in it again. You said first, I, I missed the name, um, and now the poll is in the way, so I can't see your name. So, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so what I discovered with this little sucker is that uh, it's it's actually really hard to clean up. There's a lot of mold lines on it. Uh, even, I mean, I can understand them on the rocks. It's not so much of a big deal. But on the miniature, around the head, around the, the, the fine detail um, there, uh, they're everywhere. Uh, around the fingers. Fingers is not uh, an unsurprising thing. But because the sword is in the way, it actually made it really difficult to get it. You can only access some of these seam lines from one particular angle. And I can see a seam line that I haven't quite removed here. Oh, I have attacked it, but I didn't come off completely. Um, because the seam is, there's like a, a little gully that you have to get into there. So you wind up losing a lot of the material on the outside because it, it's formed like a gully. Uh, and the seam is in the gully. It's like... <sighs> This is a really painful miniature to have to clean up. Fr frankly, I was not impressed. And um, if you are annoyed by that fact, when you, if you wind up with it, I can totally understand. Now, my plan for today is I am going to uh, paint it black, brown. I am, I know the miniature is in the picture is supposed to be like a red metallic color. What am I doing? I'm shaking the miniature. I'm gonna shake the paint. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> this is a good sign. I've been on my roof, um, okay, fixing a, a leak, a leaky roof, and so my mind might be a little bit gone. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, uh, so the idea behind using the black and then the brown is that I want to go gold. I want to actually paint this thing gold because there would be nothing worse than having an iron golem you have to face that has been plated with gold, and the players think that they've suddenly scored a fantastically large statue made of solid gold when in fact it's just plated with gold or it could be made of solid gold if you, I guess if you wanted to but plated with gold and then I think they've got their treasure and then it attacks them. Um, that's really where my head was at uh, rather than going with red. Now I'll make it clear I do like red. I am very partial to red. I don't really have any paints that are that colour. Um, a metallic red is I can imagine how much of a pain in the butt it would be to put on. Um, so no, uh, and I don't have it, and I don't actually, I still feel like the gold, I'll go with silver on the sword, but 
I'm going to be going with gold and gold-like colours. But first, we've got to get the black on. So we'll do that. And I need a big brush. Um, and that's probably the biggest brush I can find. And I'll put that there. If I move the whole thing out of the shot so you can't see things, you let me know. And let's get my brush wet. Ah, so I did pretty well yesterday. I, th I got... I would say about half of the Dungeons and Dragons 5e. Um, now I, I'm using Vallejo Black, okay? It's Vallejo Black. I'm not watering it down because that's always given me trouble. I've said this before. Um, so I'm not going to water it down. I'm just going to put it on. It seems to be going on pretty pretty well. So that's that's fine. It's not gluggy or anything. Um, this is just a scummy, uh, cheap, nasty brush from an Emporium. So if you're wondering what sort of brush I'm using, it is nothing special for putting the, the black on. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. And we we'll just keep going like this. Get the paint on as fast as we can. It's a bigger miniature, so I'm a little worried that this might take me longer uh, than just an hour. Because there's just so much area to cover. But also, I guess the other thing that I'm concerning about is the fact that um, <clears throat> it's a really hot day. I'm in the middle of my winter in New Zealand and I'm in a t-shirt and shorts yet again. I've been on the roof, I had to wear a sun hat, it is very very warm but as soon as the sun goes down, which is starting to go down at about 4.30pm here in New Zealand because it's winter, right, normally it's like pitch black by about 6. <laughs> um, so yes, Feeling the effects of uh, global warming today. Um, <laughs> I'm not complaining that I might wind up in a, a in a location in the world which is mostly warm rather than cold and wet all the time. Although I don't think we can get rid of the cold because it's still pretty cold um, outside in the wind because there's southerlies coming through and stuff like that. But yeah, <laughs> um, we'll just keep going this way. There's going to be lots of little nooks and crannies to get this paint into too, which is going to be like, I know I'm going to miss patches. I know we can just say, ah, oh, well, we can fix that all over uh, a wash, but I'm not necessarily going to do that. So what are you up to today, um, Jasper? I I can see you are here. I'm kind of curious as to what you're up to. I know some of you will be working. I know I'm on holiday. Not everybody is. Um... I know that uh, Ted from Nerd Immersion is on holiday and he's at Gen Con and I saw him walking around live with his camera uh, talking to people and showing people just walking through the crowds. Uh, surprisingly, <laughs> I found that quite um, entertaining so I hung around for a little while until my phone ran out of power and, and uh, deleted all of the, or reported all of the, the bots that were trying to capitalise on the fact that he had like 150 people watching. Um, a live stream as he walked around to Jedcon. <laughs> who would have guessed? Well, there's a lot of people who can't make it, so I imagine there are. There is going to be some interest. Something as simple as that. Now, if anybody can figure out how to get people to watch um, grass grow, then they're doing pretty well. <laughs> or, is it, or is the saying, watch paint dry? <laughs> Ah, okay. Grethus, Grethus Tigra. I now I see your name. Now I hope I got your name right, Grethus Tigra. So YouTube has just dropped dropped the, the chat down so I can actually see your name, which was quite handy. Thank you very much, YouTube. It's probably the only thing I'm gonna be thanking you for for uh, quite some time, but the, that's that's one of them. So yes, I got about half of the the monster, uh, well, I wouldn't not the monster, the Dungeons and Dragons combat mechanics done. And then I realized that I was got a, I had a problem. Like I'm gonna have to break it up into a lot smaller chunks. So uh, I thought I was gonna be able to get away with doing all of the core rules in about three uh, lessons. And I'm gonna have to break it up into four. There's just no, it's, it isn't possible. And this sword is gonna give me so much trouble. I can see it right now. Jasper, I'm writing up the next uh, bit for my uh, my vampire campaign. Ah, nice. Well, in a few days, I should be starting the Dungeon Master prep tutorials or putting the slides together. 
The material is there, as far as I remember. I did that last time I took a holiday. I just haven't turned them into slides. So once the slide show's ready to go, then I'm ready to go. That means everybody can jump in and we'll just do our stuff together, if you like. That seems, well, that was the intention anyway. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get it to there easily. I've got black on there. You can see right now that there's just going to be some areas that are just going to be impossible to get with. And I'll have to get a smaller brush too. That'll probably help. <clears throat> All right, drink of water for me. Oh, by the way, for those of you, I'm, I mean, a few of you probably already know, but I'm kind of very much friends with um, Wally DM, who does puzzles, traps, some character builds, but mostly um, puzzles and traps is his, his, his stick. And he's going to be doing a live stream after I live stream. So while I'm doing my homework, I'm going to be over at that uh, live stream, which will start at about one o'clock my time, which I don't know what time that is for you guys. It'll be about about 50 minutes from now. So I'll be over there hanging out with him while he does his, he's going to be building traps um, using Rory's story cubes by the looks. Okay, so this brush isn't going to work anymore, so we're going to have to ditch it and go for a smaller one. Something to get into the little cracks and in, in between everything. So yes, if you find yourself having to spend at least 20 minutes or more cleaning up this miniature to get all the flashing and the lines and the mouldy bits cleaned off, don't be surprised. Because seriously, it took me about that long. What have they got in terms of a brush that we'll be able to squeeze in there, which is going to be strong enough? Yeah, let's try that one. Try that one for now. Okay. And just wet you. Okay, you're ready to go. Let's try it. A little bit smaller. Slightly um, softer brush, brush bristles too, that might help. Okay. In there. Uh, da, 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 da. So, um, for those of you who are wondering what's been going on on my channel, I noticed there's been a lot more activity even though I'm not putting anything out. And uh, the polls that I'm putting out on the channel, are, uh, they're actually targeted, there's a reason for, for them, okay? They're not just to just um, get people to click on. I'm actually looking for information to help me understand how to um, present stuff. And uh, and so that sort of informs me as to what I need to look at covering. I'm, I've fallen into this trap before when I've run polls on my channel where I've asked questions. People have given me an answer, but because it's not really the people who are subscribed to my channel answering those polls, I'm not getting actually accurate information. Um, and this is sort of the nature of running polls, is they're not always going to be the demographic you're, you're looking at, right? And so um, it is actually not very useful when people say, oh, the rules are simple enough, you don't need to worry about this sort of thing. The, the people just need to read the rules. Like, yeah, I, I don't make those sorts of videos for you guys, if that's how you think. <laughs> it's better for you not to actually comment at all, frankly. Um, there, there's a reason for the rules videos and they are not there to satisfy those people who don't find the rules difficult they are there to help those who do find the rules difficult so yes um, <laughs> I can't count the number of times I've seen people say that and I'm like you must have had something better to do with your time than to say that like what was the point <laughs> Any, anyway um, so don't feel like all the polls you need to respond to, because there will be a few more going up. Uh, particularly around Dungeon Master prep stuff very shortly. Um, maybe not today, but certainly reasonably soon. Uh, I'm struggling to get the paint into that little crack there. Let's just, just wiggle it around a little bit. Maybe I need a smaller brush again, maybe. And up his armpit, around there, around the face. The face is going to give me a lot of trouble. I'll move this forward a little bit. Uh, so yeah, 
that's what's going on for me right now. But I am also, you may be aware that I stopped unlisting all of my live streams, right? But I have 350 unlisted live streams. This is back when I was told this was the thing you're supposed to do, okay? I didn't know any better. I just trusted that people knew what they were talking about. I have actually found that it does not work. Uh, maybe it works for some people. It didn't work for me. And, and frankly, I think it was a mistake. Um, and I, I kind of had to come to the grips with the fact that um, people who are supposedly experts aren't necessarily experts because even YouTube is changing things faster than they can keep up with. Um, and they don't actually have all of the insights. Okay, you can't, you can't build a channel on just data because the data coming from YouTube is not that accurate. <laughs> this is one of the things I've discovered. So you'll find that a lot of my older stuff that wasn't actually accessible is now becoming public because that's what I've been doing. I've been releasing those things so that you can go back and watch them. I know that um, it's probably too late for a lot of them and you may not ever find them because YouTube probably won't pro promote them but then that's never been something that worked for me anyway. Um, people didn't really find me by recommendations. They found me by searching. And often they found me not by searching on YouTube because the search engine on YouTube is garbage. They just they found me through Google's search engine, which is far better. Uh, yes, so you will see a lot of the other stuff. And if there are things that I've done that I, I kind of hid the live stream for, people are, you're welcome to let me know that you would like me to release it and I will do so. Okay because that was my intention to do that anyway. So if there's something in particular, just let me know. And I think I can't get between that, that sword and that hand properly. So I need a small, either a smaller brush and just round here. This, this is, this is going to be the problem people is there's so many little spots that are hard to get at. So another smaller brush again, just to get the black on. So you can see where my problem lies with this miniature. This is why I don't feel like it's going to be like an hour to get it done, just because it's so hard to get at everything, which is ridiculous. It shouldn't take that long to get it, get it done. Um, all right, smaller brush. That's probably, that's even smaller and softer, those bristles. wonder if that would work. We'll try it and see if it works. I haven't really used this brush before, so we'll see. But yeah, those hands, just behind the hands, behind the sword, it's just, it's going to be impossible to get at. It's going to be one of those dab, 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 because every time you change the angle, you think, okay, I can see part of it. How can I get the brush in there? This is going to be a complete pain in the ass to paint. I can see it now. Uh, how do I get in there? That hand wasn't so bad. It's the other one on the other side that's uh, that's giving me so much grief. I changed the angle. Maybe I can get in. No, it's just if it's not the sword in the way, it's the thumb in the way or a finger in the way. And it's just not working. Which means any other color I stick on is going to be a complete pain to actually get get on as well. If you can't tell, in between the head and the sort of back section too, is it's like really hard to get in there. There's a, there's a gap in there, but trying to get black paint in there is like... Oh. I mean, the softer brush bristle is sort of helping, because I can bend it kind of around the corners. But it's... It's going to be so frustrating. Not, not very helpful. I mean, some miniatures are just like that, right? Just the design of them is, is such that they make it much harder to actually paint. This is, this is, this is going to really drive me nuts. And that hand is just going to piss me off no end. Have I got it at all? I think I might have. Oh, hang on. There's a spot. I missed one. I don't know. 
Uh, did I get it in? Not really. There's another bit in the back there. Okay, so it's taken me 20 minutes just to try to get the black on. I don't even know that spraying it would actually be the solution. Maybe this is one of those times when dipping the miniature is actually a good idea. I don't like the idea of using dips. I know it's the new thing, right? You paint a lot of miniatures really fast and you dip them in this paint. But I don't like the idea very much myself. Maybe this is the time when it, it actually makes sense, just because it's so hard to get at. All right, so uh, now, because it is, uh, it is partly dry but not completely dried, I'm going to move on to the next color. Putting gold onto anything I've found is really difficult and somebody has advised me in the past that applying brown first will allow the gold to go on better. Dip, yeah, there's paint that you can use like a dip. It's designed to be so. So I'm just assuming that the dipping paints are, um, are very thin. I've never used them myself. I think it's... I think it's probably more suitable for somebody who's trying to paint like a 40k army really fast, you know, for wargaming, and they've got like 200 or 300 miniatures, and so they just hang like 12 of them up, upside down and stick them into a bucket. Um, I've seen people do that. But it's a new way of sort of doing it. That just gets your base colour on. It doesn't paint the whole thing. That just gets your base colour on. Okay, so... Uh, back to a brush that will actually do the job. I'm putting on the brown. Uh, sorry, this is the Knowles' Marvelous Pigments Monster Paint Set that I'm using, and it is um, Minotaur Hide. Minotaur Hide is just a, a type of army painter paint. I don't know the code for the army painter paint, if you're wanting me to tell you, because I have no idea. Okay, so let's start with, um, I'm going to be pretty, pretty brutal here. We won't worry too much about whether it goes on the, on the rocks or the stones below, uh, but we will get the, the main golem coated around the feet, work our way up. I may have just a bit too much water on my brush, this is why it's, it's so thin. Just give me a second, I'll just dry that off. So there's a lot of medium in these paints, I've said this before, and so I've, I've found if you try to add water, it actually makes it worse. Um, you can get bubbling, which is not one, something you really want. <laughs> it's, in fact, it's the last thing you want to have happen. It's bubbling on your miniature. That means you just got to brush back over it and try and get rid of all the bubbles. Uh, now... Happy with that so far. It's going on. This is just the legs, though. This is this. This is the thing. One of the one of the reasons for trying to make sure I got as much of the black covered is so that if I have great huge, if I have dark depression areas, it doesn't matter. Oops, almost went to the black. Or did I? I might have. No, not not well, quite. Um, so it doesn't matter because it's kind of filled up the dark area. If I can't reach it with the uh, the paint color that I'm using or wanting to use on it. All right, so that got that leg partly coated. As you can see, it is still very, very thin. Even, I mean, the brown brown going on to black is always going to be um, a little bit of an issue. I understand some people would have said, oh, why don't you go with white? The problem is then I have got to make sure I get all of the white coated right otherwise all the dark recesses wind up being white a bit more minotaur so um, let's just yep just put it on and spread it around that's there um, the sword is not going to be gold I will I will do that last and that'll be wind up being a a silver colour because I figure gold and silver um, differentiates it a little bit and it's still enticing enough oh look gold statue followed by oh it's got a gold uh, a silver sword might be magical <laughs> okay that's the evil the dungeon master laugh if you haven't figured it out 
Um, and we'll just keep going. Well, at least it's nice and simple, he says. Nah, it's not really. If anything, this is probably going to be more of a pain just because of the angles I've got to get at. Thank God it's like a, like a basic colour that I'm dealing with rather than like lots of fine detail to paint, paint in. Um, although you could do that, I suppose. And then the arm... But the black is not quite dry, so that's going to cause a little bit of problems. It's going to mix. Still very warm in here, so the paint is still drying pretty quick. Um, so I still got to work reasonably quickly, otherwise I'm going to wind up with the paint on my brush going hard. And of course that little area that I needed to get to last time is going to continue to be a pain to get at. Okay, All right, we'll just keep working my way through here and very shortly we're going to start working on, I would say, dealing with the gold. Um, I don't want to bother with the, the base at this point because it's just going to be too difficult to, to fiddle with, so um, let's just get the, the main miniature done. The base I'll paint later because I can sort of be a bit more careful about what I'm doing there. And down there, down there. Do 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 do. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, well, maybe I will just give. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. I will I will actually attack the base, but I'll use a much smaller brush to do that, and so I don't have to come back and work too hard the next time around. Uh, so there's the brown. It's not particularly brown, but then it's not what the colour I'm aiming for. We're not trying to do a, a clay golem today. Uh, we're trying to do an iron golem, which is going to be gold. I have selected my golds, for those of you who are interested. I have selected... Um, Actually, I've selected gold and I've selected bronze, okay? I don't know if anybody remembers the movie um, I, Sinbad, Eye of the Tiger, and there was a, a bronze minotaur statue that came to life. So I've got this Vallejo gold. I don't know how good it is. I think I've had problems with it in the past, but I've brought it along. I've got these um, Knowles' uh, Marvelous Pigments one. This is the Kai Rink, is it? Kyrene Gold, I think this is going to be a better option for me in terms of the main miniature. And then I've got this Dwarven Bronze, which I'm probably going to use over the top of the gold to sort of give it its detail. So it'll be a lot of the dry brushing aspects of it. And because the miniature is the way it is, and because metallic paints don't necessarily go on that well, it's going to be an interesting development, I have to say. Um, we'll see how that all goes. Um, I have a bunch of saws. Let's go with the dungeon stone for the base. I have to use a much smaller brush to get that on. Um, this one here. I'll use that. And turn that around. That should be enough. If it's not, put some more up. Do you get dungeon stone? So I'm using a very soft bristle. This is a cheap, nasty brush, by the way. This is not a fancy brush, by the way. Those, I haven't even pulled any of those out yet. All the Citadel brushes are sitting somewhere else. They haven't come, come to light. And we'll just stroke it. Don't need to be too fancy because I'm gonna to have to come back and fix a lot of this up anyway. Going down the 
edge. Do, 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 do. So I hope people are finding that um, they're able to sort of... Hello, Joe. How's it going overboard? Ah, finishing up the uh, clay golem. No, this is actually the iron golem. The, the clay golem's actually done, believe it or not. The only thing I need to do with, the, um, with that is maybe tidy up around the base, around the feet, uh, which I'm not going to do because that would take me hardly any time, and then wash it. And washing it doesn't take that long, really. It's moving the moving wash around, right? Which, uh, frankly, I don't think that's going to be um, that exciting for everybody else to see. And um, I'm not going to do that right now. I have many unfinished miniatures sitting on my shelf that need to have coatings put on and so forth. Um, I did buy something for doing that, but um, I haven't really kind of got around to it. Although you guys need to let me know if you think that me sitting here and um, painting polyurethane onto a little miniature or a bunch of different miniatures is something you'd really feel like me doing um, as a part of a live stream. Although, I mean, really, this isn't really... F I mean, to be fair, I'm doing this more for those people who are the painters who missed me painting live. And the fact that I don't mind doing that because it helps me relax and not think about all the other things that I've got to get done. Even even though I'm on holiday, it's, it's hard to sort of switch off. Um... And this sort of forces me to do that. I was I had to be really careful because just before the the stream, <laughs> Joe, I was um, cleaning up the miniature, uh, this iron golem, and I was like I could actually sit here in the sun and just file this thing, uh, and the time would go, and then it would be like two o'clock, and I was like okay this is going to be a problem. Um, it's not so much that I like filing miniatures or anything like that. It's just more that. I was so comfortable, <laughs> it was so nice where I was sitting, I'm standing, and I saw a wasp in the middle of winter, I couldn't believe it, it's because of all the warm weather, right, um, but usually we don't get wasps at this time of the year, they're, they're all sort of in hibernation, it's just too cold for them, but uh, it, it flew away, and I was like, okay, well the space, space is still mine then, so yeah, it's the iron golem, and it's going to be gold, Okay, so I got that base mostly grey. Did all right with the this is the uh, dungeon stone. We'll put that out of the way. We'll get rid of. I don't need that color anymore. I've used you. Um, I may be using the brown again, although maybe not. Let's just go into the um, into the gold. Now my problem with the gold is I don't know which one is going to be the better. So I'm going to do a test run. I think one will need um, thinning down and one won't. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Sorry if I'm still, I still got the sniffles, man. I, 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 I tell you, man, I'm going to wind up sick this entire holiday. I just, I, I got this distinct feeling. Today is the halfway point for me. And I still haven't really quite sh um, been able to shake it. And no, I don't have COVID. I tested myself yesterday. <laughs> I, I tested myself before that as well, but um, yeah, I don't I don't have the 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 plague um, currently. So this is the Vallejo Gold. What's this, Joe? Painting streams are like um, talk radio for some of us. Exactly. Just listen to you while uh, we work on our hobbies. That's exactly the reason why. Hey, um, also to Joe and anybody else who's watching these, if you find this is going to be oh god. Ugh. This looks thick and gluggy. Okay, uh, it came out pretty fast. But I wouldn't come out, and then it came out real fast. If YouTube decides to drop a lot of um, ads, mid mid roll ads into these live streams, because I know you guys watch the whole thing, and YouTube spots that sort of um, thing and does bullshit like puts a, a, a mid roll ad every two to three minutes or four minutes, which is painful. Um, you need to let me know, okay? Because then I can go in there and hopefully I can take them out and they won't put them back in again. Um, if I turn off mid-roll ads, all they do is they run mid-roll ads and I just don't get paid for them. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? So it's not, there's no point turning it off because I've tried that. It didn't work. And then um, 
YouTube then told us that they could put ads on anything if they wanted to, and I'm like, okay, well, that just sort of eliminates you trying to do anything, <laughs> like, like, like change the way ads run on your channel because they can just do whatever they like, and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> so um, yeah, but there, there at least I can go in manually and hopefully affect it, uh, particularly if they've pre-programmed it. Okay, so this is the Kyrene Gold. Let's see if the Kyrene Gold is going to be better. Both look pretty gluggy, so we may have to water, but we'll see how we go. Um, and I'm thinking in terms of how I put this on, what brush. I could go with quite a big brush, but I'm kind of a little worried about that. Um, let's start with a small brush, just a test run, right? Just a test run. Uh, so this is this is the one this is the Vallejo stuff okay let's try the back of them we'll paint we'll paint a section or plate section and see what it looks like well it's going on all right and it would probably require multiple layers, I would say at least two, most possibly three to get it to come out right. But So that's what the Vallejo looks like. That went on alright, that doesn't need watering, but it isn't going to be that thick. And so let's try the um, the Knowles's gold and see if there's a, a difference to this and how it works. Now this is a lot thicker. Oh, it looks thicker, but maybe it isn't. It looks like a big blob there, but it is a lot. Can you guys see this? This is the Vallejo. This is the um, Knowles's paint gold. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes on. Well, it goes on a lot better. Well, it seems to. Either that or it's my imagination, but it's still going to require more than one application, and that's to be expected. It's not a huge difference. I wouldn't say there's a huge difference. All right, well, let's... Um, well, let's shift to a bigger brush and see if I can put it on a bit quicker because we're not really trying to paint individual panels at this present time maybe that will be the dwarven um, bronze color that I do that with oh come on thread the needle come on eyes and hands oh, try it again <sighs> can't do it I'm really struggling, guys. Guys and girls, it's it's. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Did I get it? I don't know. I think I did. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we need a brush, and I need to put on a brush that's probably going to be soft enough. Because it's, if it's not soft enough. The bristles aren't soft enough it's just not going to move because of all these little cracks and so forth so let's water soften the brush up a bit take off that see it must be it's not too dry and then we'll use the Vallejo and see how we go since I've put so much out okay it's not too bad I don't actually have to put too much brown on to actually ha make this work. I mean, there is brown there. It doesn't look like it, but there is. Um, oops. I'm kind of glad that this um, metallic color is going on reasonably um, thin, just because at least I can move the paint around if I need to. All right. Not going to get too 
worried about what's going on in the base. So just move it around like so. Yep, the softer bristles is making a big difference. And flip it round. And let's do that again. So when I was painting like treasure um, piles, I found the um, painting that brown was a huge benefit. And I was using the same sort of gold paint, so um, I didn't realize I didn't actually have to paint that much brown on to make it the, the big difference. I'll have to remember that so I don't need to do two layers of brown to get it to come come out at all I've I kind of feel a little bit bad that I'm I'm painting this thing gold and and that means that my my players are going to see this and think oh yes jackpot <laughs> followed by oh no our treasurer is trying to kill us um <laughs> It would be it would be kind of horrible to actually um, say, ah, sorry, it's not actually solid gold that's attacking you uh, when they finally defeat it. If they do, um, just just because they're like, ah, oh, so that means I get less money because of this. So maybe I should make sure that it is solid gold. And we consider it an iron golem, but it's made out of solid gold. Maybe it's a mixture. Jasper, my cat just scared me to death. So is that the last um, comment you'll ever be able to make, Jasper? If you've um, just been just been scared scared you to death, because I'm assuming you've died now. Is that what we're we're dealing with here, or is that am I going too far? Am I reading too much in it? Am I taking it too literally? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think the oh, I definitely think like the the dwarven um, bronze is going to be a necessary um, uh, paint to apply here. Otherwise, this is going to look just way too like just solid gold. Because I didn't dry brush, did I? I just banged it on. That might have been a mistake, actually, now that I think about it. That might have been a big mistake. I wasn't actually expecting it to go on as easy as this. I did all my prep, though, didn't I? So I guess it, I should, it shouldn't be surprised. And in there, and that, inside that hand again... Uh, Get it in there. Come on, paint, get in there. It's not going to go. Um, okay, so what do we do? We make sure I brush off as much of the gold paint that is not where I want it to be. So it's not too thick. It is. Can you see how fast this gold paint's drying in the heat of my office? It's just, it is so fast. It's so quick. It's done, like, just like that. Oh, up up as tush. I gotta to get up as tush. I'm gonna have need need more paint for that though. Hang on. Oh, what do we got here? Overboard. Um, if that iron golem is um dancing when your uh, players first see see it, <laughs> they might call it a solid gold dancer from the seventies dance TV show. Maybe. What what would be more ludicrous than to have a disco dancing gold iron golem? And having a dance down. That's your battle with it. I hope you brought your um your your disco um skills, baby. <laughs> disco um, um <laughs> Jasper, of course I want to hear a joke. Provided it's actually funny. Like, you know. 
hopefully it's not too lewd and crude. I mean, you know me, I can deal with some of that stuff. I, I do it myself. Uh, okay, so let's up the tush. Did I get up the tush? Not, not in the front section. Right. Okay. Can, can, can you see what I'm trying to do here? I have no idea. Um, it's probably not hugely important that I get it there anyway. But anyway, that's what's going on right now. It's it's trying to go up the tush. Uh, let's give me a second. Taxes. Taxes. Taxes is not funny. You can tell a joke about taxes. I, I, I feel like every Inland Revenue Department is um, worthy of um, ridicule, absolutely. Maybe not always, but there's usually some time when they should be. And that side, oh, okay, I missed a little bit there. And we're getting it in the, somewhere, we're getting it somewhere. Let's try that again. And I, at least I keep my main dry brush ready for dealing with this thing when I need to. So it should work out. All right. What's your joke on taxes? Or is that the extent of it? That's the punchline? Taxes? Surely not. Can't be just that. I don't think that classifies as a very good joke if it's just the word taxes. Okay, so it's still that one area that I knew was going to be painful to get at, but it's it's partly coated. Um, let's try that again. I probably need a, I'll need to use a smaller brush to get in there. That's the that's the reality, isn't it? Can't really get through there easily. Okay, so um, da, 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 da. do I really need to put any more gold on this? I don't know that I need to actually. I think that's probably enough. Taxes is the joke. That's that's not a great joke. I'm I'm not going to say it's a horrible joke. Um, but yeah. The, uh, the, the setup, there's no setup, um, there's nothing in between, so there's no beginning, and uh, there's only the punchline, and I'm assuming that's the punchline we're talking about here. So it's, it's kind of lacking something. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you already understood that. Uh, so so, so we, w we won't speak any more about that particular joke. In New Zealand, our tax department is having a heck of a time because the government's decided to give everybody who's making under seventy thousand a year um, uh, three hundred and fifty dollars over the, the space of is it three months? I think it's three months or something like that. Just because of all of the extra costs, because of the raging inflation, and so they're like, well, we've got to give people money so they can actually afford to live because there isn't enough. So they've decided to do that. It makes me laugh when I see um, opposition parties uh, trousing the government for doing something that they would have done themselves, because I know they've done it before themselves. And of course, a rollout like that is going to have problems, because it, it happens automatically, right? So <laughs> you don't apply for it or anything like that. The tax department just looks at your income and then just sends you some money. Um, and it's in three... I was not expecting a action like that from our government. I, I, I honestly wasn't. Um, <laughs> okay, so I think we golded up enough. All right, let's get rid of this brush and let's move on to. I'm going to dry brush this thing with that dwarven bronze because um, I think that's actually the, the way to go. I could be wrong. I have been before. So don't feel like you should do that because it might be a mistake. Um, they're looking very gold right now. And then we ditch this brush. And this is my big dry brushy thingy. Um, 
Right, move that out of the way. It's not going to be doing me any good. Move this over here. Dry brush color. Um, I move this. We don't need the gold. We've got more gold out than we needed to have out. Fred, well done. You've only wasted plenty of it. Um, okay, this is dwarven bronze. Come on. It's got to come off. Yep, there we go. Dwarven bronze. Which is a very different color to the other one. And it's a metallic color, right? So metallic colors, when they go on, they don't go on like, they go on funny. They're, they're a little bit odd in terms of how they apply, right? Just because of the pigment in it. But we're going to give it a go and see if it works. If it doesn't, oh well, at least I did it to my miniature and, you didn't, and not to yours. <laughs> Okay. Okay, there's. That's all right. Let's try the back. We sweep up. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, I. It's. It's. It's all right. It seems to be. It seems to be bringing it out. I feel like trying to um, put in highlights, I mean, hmm, yeah, anyway, wash will solve it, right? I hear they are going to give money out to some people here as well. Uh, unfortunately, I won't get any. I guess they think I can afford to throw all my money away uh, to gas and high price foods and the like. Yeah, I, I, look, I, mean, I don't think everybody in New Zealand is going to be getting this, um, this money. Uh, but they are looking at the fact that the, the I guess the bread line in New Zealand is is different and a lot of people are in this awkward position where if you're traveling long distances it's like suddenly you can't actually afford to to drive to work which is quite ridiculous and it's not affecting just the the lower income um, earners it's like affecting the mid-range and middle class of New Zealand and uh because you look, look, the the average income in New Zealand is supposed to be fifty thousand a year or fifty five thousand a year, somewhere in that range, which is actually pulled up very much by those people in the higher income group. So, um, so it's not accurate. the The true indication is much lower than fifty to fifty five thousand a year for for anybody who's making any kind of money. Um, so that means. These people are, and you would be you would be shocked at just how expensive food is. New Ze food in New Zealand was always expensive before inflation. So I, I I'm not against doing it. Um, there's not that many people I would say who are making over seventy thousand a year. Frankly. Uh, I think the number of people who would be making that kind of money is, is going to be self-employed or something like that. Okay, so this is working all right. So we're going to do this. We're going to keep doing this. Oops, something went flying. Let's do that, and then uh, now we want to brush up the arms, and then long hands, long hands, up the arms. Up the chest, or the stomach, I don't know if that's going to work very well. Uh, along the hands here, back and forth, and on the back here, this this is not going to work very well. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Um, you could always eat those large, noisy bugs you have there. Laugh out loud. Uh, you're talking about the wetters or cicadas. Cicadas aren't aren't um, terribly easy to catch, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> 
they don't really like being caught and eaten. So yeah, might be a bit difficult. And uh, eating a wetter sounds all good until you have to try and do it. Um, I don't know that we've actually got enough of those around. There's no cicadas here right now anyway. We don't even have um, crickets. The crickets aren't around. It's winter. Like, they just, that's not the right time of the year. They're all borrowed up and borrowed, in, you know, they're all hibernating in, in the soil. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. That still worked out right. EW. I don't know what EW is. EW? Early warning signs? EW? Right. Let's see if we can at least get this bronze sorted out before um, my mind goes. Okay, don't say it. I know it might have already gone. <laughs> um, and then up the leg. Up the leg, up the leg, up the leg. Stroking up, 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 up. up. Across the feet. All right, let's do that again. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm very tired, um, I'm quiet. I'm just, I think jumping on the roof didn't help. <sighs> trying to get in there is just painful. Um, trying to get between the legs. We're probably not gonna be getting the bronze on that area. I, I don't think it's gonna it's gonna happen. We're gonna to have to just like, okay, that's one area I can't access. Um, right, so up the leg, up the leg, up the leg, yep. That's that. Cross the feet, cross the feet, cross the feet. And then dusting along the top. More, a little bit more. It kind of came out bronze rather than gold, but it kind of did, didn't it? I'm not unhappy with the effect, though. I have to say, I'm not terribly un unsatisfied with what's occurred here. I actually kind of like it. It's funny how sometimes you paint something and you have a vision in your mind and then when you get to the actual uh, point where you're sort of happy with the basics of it. I still got to do the eyes and I got to do the base and I got to do the sword and blah -de blah 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 you know what I'm talking about. Um, but as a general rule I have to say I'm actually not too unhappy with this. Oh sorry what, what are we going on about here? Is it true your most common garden spider can kill you in under an hour? No it's not true. Um, the black widow spider uh, will will certainly make you very sick and it is capable of killing you. Um, it's called the catapo here in New Zealand. Um, follow up question. Are koalas really a dumb, dumb, dumb as, you say, um, as you say? No, the, uh, koalas are from Australia. The only reason that koalas seem like they are dumb is because they're stoned, okay? Because koalas eat eucalyptus trees, and eucalyptus is actually extremely poisonous. And I feel like I've suddenly, it's the nature, um, nature channel. Um, so eucalyptus leaves, and eating eucalyptus leaves is very poisonous. It would normally kill everything else. But it doesn't kill a koala, right? So the koala's body and system is able to process that stuff uh, much better than other animals, and certainly better than humans. And so um, instead of it dying... It just seems stoned because its body is fighting off all of the poison that's going through its um, its system. So that's why they seem like they're dumb because they're stoned. Okay. <laughs> I I knew you would like that story. Um, when you asked that question, I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> um, did I answer all your questions? I think I did in terms of koalas and giant uh, and and garden spiders. What do you got here? Overboard, Fred. I'm painting up the interior of this um, house for the Curse of Strat. Oh my gosh. What colours would they um, paint the interiors? The map from the book really doesn't show any colour. No, I have no idea. Would be drab or colourful. 
Dude, I would imagine that it was probably really colourful or um, um, I would say it would be the kind of house that was owned by somebody who's really wealthy and had a, had a, a professional interior designer, but it's degraded over time. Now, I know the house is supposed to sort of, eat, you know, magically keep itself up to, up to date, but um, I would say there'd be some sort of, you know, um, breakdown going on just because... I feel like the colours would be a little bit darker because the, the house is alive. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense at all. I mean, see, uh, dude, you're asking me a question. It's your house. I've seen you you on the Discord. You've been showing us that house. And all I can think of is like, oh my God, he's definitely overboard again. Um, <laughs> so, so I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, let's, let's show you what I've done so far. I'm not finished. I'm going to come back to this. Which means I'm gonna you're gonna to have to put up with me doing all the details some other day, which will probably be tomorrow. Um, but I thought I would at least show you what I've done so far. I can say now that painting the iron golem that uh, Knowles has put out is a pain in the damn ass. Okay, thank God it is basically supposed to be a big flat color, uh, generally, but to get it everything is horrible. And if I had a choice of painting this or something else, I have to say I'd be painting something else. Uh, <laughs> I'm up. I'm going to apologise now for the fact that I, I'm, I'm giving it a hard time, but I am. I'm giving it a hard time. All right. <laughs> uh, what's this, Jasper? Once I saw a picture of a tourist who uh, found a tiny octopus in a tide pool. It was a blue ringed octopus. Oh, okay. I, might in New Zealand or somewhere else. But it might be Australia you're talking about. I, I'm not too sure. I don't really know much about oct octopus. The octopus is not something I'm an expert in. I've eaten the small ones and they taste, they're like rubber. Unless you cook them properly, they suck. They are shit to eat. They don't taste nice. Um, frankly, I think the Chinese had the wrong idea considering that everything in the ocean should be eaten. But anyway... Um, thank you to everybody who's been hanging out with me in the live stream. And uh, thank you for my patrons who've been supporting me and blah, 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 blah. And I hope you get your own miniatures sorted out. I will be back to do the rest of this Iron Golem. Don't worry, it's not going to disappear or anything like that. It's definitely going to happen. Uh, but it's now time for me to go and do something else, like um, eat food would be nice too. Uh, <laughs> so wherever you are in the world, do I need to say any of that? I'm just going to say thank you, thank you again, thank you, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. Uh, Wally's uh, stream is just about to start, so I am going to um, hopefully flick you guys over to there so you can go and hang out there if you